Okay. I gotta move around. Um, and we'll get playing in a minute. I just need to adjust some things on stream. Um, move my phone. And I gotta change some tags and we'll be uh, ready to play this game. Anyways, I do want to say, if you watch this on YouTube, to hit that like and sub button. It means a lot if you follow my Twitch. It is in the description of the video. I don't even know when this is going to be uploaded because I'm still uploading other videos that I have not been really focused on. I haven't uploaded this week. Today is uh, the 28th and I haven't uploaded in the past few days. Uh, Friday was more understandable. I was just, you know, not home really. Um, Saturday, I was home, but I kept putting it off, and that's my bad. I just been going down these uh, these loops of an anxiety, and it honestly is very painful knowing that I can't do anything about those anxieties and everything else, which is really shitty um, as a feeling and everything, but. It's okay, like, it, it sucks and all, but, I mean, it's alright. Anyways, we are going to be playing this game. I don't remember if my face cam goes to the top left or the top right. So, bear with me if I have to change it. Um, it only takes, like, ten seconds to change it, but, you know, I'm just letting you know beforehand, before we start this, which is really easy. You just press this button, because we're playing solo. I don't want to play with people. Um, not very fun, I'm going to be honest. We're going to play medium. Uh, enemies have normal health and do normal damage. It's you know pretty basic stuff. I don't, I don't want to do like hard and you know go for that right now. That's more like after I'm done with it. Like if there's no multiplayer trophies, I might go for the platinum on this game to be honest, because I think it's very plain to do on solo. If there is no multiplayer, if there are multiplayer. I don't really know anybody that plays this. I might be able to find people, but I just don't know if I want to. Um, anyways, let's uh, get started on here. But also, I would like to say, check out my sponsorships and everything in the description. I also became an uh, Amazon, um, is it like an Amazon affiliate? But I can basically, uh, recommend products for people, and they can choose to get it or not, right? And, you know, um, you click my link, um, so, if somebody, like, wants to get my headset that I have, for example, which, I don't know if it's still on sale, but if you go to my Twitch chat and you type exclamation mark headset, you can easily uh, buy the headset that I am wearing um, using my link, um, and it'll bring you right to Amazon. Um, I want to do that more often with like games and stuff too. Like when I play different games, I can put exclamation mark. Um, let's say Assassin's Creed Valhalla, for example, right? I can put a you know exclamation mark Valhalla, and then people can buy uh, Valhalla if they want to, and I think that'd be really fun um, and easier for me to do to uh, you know help support myself um so more people are interested in stuff like that because it's like if you're buying something on amazon anyway like it just honestly just message me on like instagram and i'll try to get back to you when i can and i'll send you a link um to to the uh thing and then um you know i can uh play short show Jun. And Boris, is that it? I know that they have a lot more. Let's play shoulder. Um, yeah, start game. I am really, I don't know how I feel about this game because we played uh, just the horde survival stuff, and I was kind of like, eh, it's very boring to be honest. Because you like just survive a bunch of rounds and then you escape and that's it, and it's just like, eh, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's just not the greatest feeling in the world personally but yeah just you know if anyone's like trying to buy something on amazon just let me know and i can send you like a specific link um of that item you send me the link of the item and then i'll send uh my recommendation the Nazi back war machine was on its last legs hammered on all sides by allied forces after so much sacrifice so much horror it seemed the world would wake at last from its nightmare Instead, Hitler woke the dead. I'm not surprised. The Allies didn't stand a chance. Hitler's thralls were tireless, numberless, merciless. Numberless. They came because they just keep getting more. Dumb joke. <laughs> no but it's true. 
But we formed a resistance, and we fought on despite the odds. The Dead War, we called it. After months of brutal losses, a volunteer squad turned the tide. The volunteer squad. <laughs> cast Hitler into another world, cutting the head from the snake. It's pretty smart. And yet still, the war rages. Even with no leader and no purpose, the dead roam the earth in swarms a million strong. And thus, well, we're taking the world back. Sorry, guys. I'm One moving around, getting comfortable, making sure I'm warm. Not, you know, not fucking freezing, which I'm freezing already, but <laughs> that's okay. It's just because my room gets really cold lately. I mean, obviously it's winter, but it's terrible. Oh, man. So, I wonder how different this is from the actual survival part of it. Is it a good difference or a bad difference? I'm sure it's a good difference, but then again, I might be wrong. We'll see. I look badass. I can't lie, my character. Pretty cool. Still nothing from the base, huh? Radios will still be down. Can you get this without the scope? Better hurry back then. Did I do it? Is it gonna go through? It should. Oh, I don't think it did. Oh! Oh, no kids for you, brother. No kids for you. <laughs> um, that was crazy. But yeah, I think our face cam being in this position is pretty good. Um, we're getting up again. Uh, takedowns. We knew this, but I was like, might as well. Wait, what? I didn't even know you were there. My bad. My bad. Okay. What? Oh, it's a resistant fighter. I was like, wait, what? Oh, I was saying to go over here. Um, where does it say take ammo? Oh, it's literally right here. My bad. I was like, where? Uh, it's very jumpy when you're sprinting. Like, I understand why, but it is kind of annoying. Orders came this morning. Milan's not safe anymore, so we're pulling out. For the world, until the damned radios went down. Think you could help? Go upstairs and take over from Jack. Then we'll get you to your train. Anything for you, Bruno. Okay. So we talk to whoever. Forget the name already. Ah, you, hello there. You see the radio mast. The damn usks are all over it, and they just won't stay still. Maybe you could clear them out, eh? What are they doing there? Stupid things. Sure. I'll handle it. See whenever you're ready, just aim and squeeze, mon ami. Um. I could have just shot here, but I mean, it's fine.
I, uh, I don't know what it says in the top left. That was our issue with it earlier. Ah. I'm guessing that's what it said. I didn't know if we were supposed to clear out all the other zombies. I just started doing it because, well, why not, right? Testing, testing. Ah, oh, thank the heavens it works. Now that's done, report to medical for a quick checkup. Then we'll see about getting you to your train. Eh? Oh, if it isn't the best kill squad in all of Italy. I trust you are being careful all day, yeah? And the voices echo. Take a med kit. Never know when you might need fixing up. Thanks, Doc. Look after yourself. Imagine there's a trophy for just doing that. Would it be surprising? Not really. Oh wait, my bad. Really? <laughs> Oh, uh, what's this upgrade kit? Oh, hi, zom uh, zombie rat. What does this do? Don't look behind you. I don't understand. What were we supposed to do? Like, is it like an Easter egg or something? I mean, obviously, it's an Easter egg, right? But, like, what? Or something. I don't know if it's an Easter egg necessary. I mean, kind of, right? But what's the importance of it? Is there an importance to it, even? You know? Like, we don't know. 